Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another lipstick swatch video. So fall has entered the building. Fall is here and she wants to be noticed. So I think it's time for us to start dressing the lips to reflect the fall season, which in there is no rules when it comes to makeup. So if you want to wear your hot pink lipstick in the fall, you have all right to do so. But just for the sake of all the new fall and winter collections that will be coming out, I will just kind of swatch based on what these brands are giving us for the selected seasons. So what other way to start this uh, fall lipstick swatches than with ColourPop. I actually purchased their ultra glossy lip glosses from their, what is it called? Whatever, I think it's called the Whatever Collection. It's their fall collection and it pretty much features, I have everything here. There's actually five of them. And it, the packaging definitely reflects fall. You know, all the colors that are reminiscent of fall. So I got all five of them. And these are the ultra glossy glosses. So I think, yeah, these should hopefully turn out well. All right, so we're gonna start with the shade Lesson Learned. I don't know if it's just me, but lately I haven't been motivated to buy anything from ColourPop, just because I feel like there's a lot of colors that they come out with that somehow they seem like the same colors over and over. Maybe it's just me. If you guys feel the same way, give me a thumbs up. But I mean, their products are good. I just feel, I just haven't been motivated lately. Like I wanted to get their, um, what was it? The So Juicy lip glosses. I didn't get them um, more so because I felt like I already have those colors in my collection somewhere and I knew that they were going to come out with something right after so I didn't bother getting the glosses but I just I'm looking for something more from them and they just they keep pushing it like that and sometimes you don't even have get time to absorb or digest all this stuff because they just keep pushing it but you know that's them obviously the customers have been very receptive of that because they're the ones because we're the ones who keep purchasing these things anyway so we complain about them pushing out a lot of stuff at a time but yet we also still purchase it so we'll never win mm -mm. this one does look chocolatey though more like almond. This one does have a nice brown color to it. But like I said, um, I've been cutting back on my ColourPop purchases for now. But I still keep going back because they are just super affordable. Guys, I do not like this brush. It is a defect there because all the bristles are like flying away of course these are going to look so much better with a lip liner but just for swatching purposes, I just want you guys to see what it looks like without any lip liner. So on me, it's looking like it's a peachy brown. Let's try and give you guys a closer look. It's a beautiful color. I think it matches me really nicely and it does go with the fall outfit. Next up we have, uh, what is this called? Me V The World. This one looks like a darker brown color. All right, let's, at least the brush is a little better on this one. 
Okay, this looks more like a brick red or like a brick brown. Let's just go right in. The brushes on these, something is wrong. They're not soft at all. It's so hard. And it's really messing with the application because I really can't, it feels like a pencil on my lips. It really doesn't help to apply the lipstick or the gloss as evenly as I would like. That is not fun. They have to work on these brushes. It is so stiff and stuck all the bristles of the brush together. And now it feels so hard like a pencil. And I haven't purchased any lipsticks or ultra glosses from them in a while. So I really don't know if this is just like a manufacturer defect or their brushes have been coming out like this for a while. I have no idea. Well, it's just starting to loosen up a little bit, the brush. It's not as stiff anymore, but it did take some time. And I absolutely love this color. Wow, guys, this color is everything. I love this color. Look at the pigment, though. This one doesn't even need a lip liner, honestly. That's how pigmented it is. Next shade up is Are We Done? Not quite. We still got two more shades to go. Are we done? How would I describe this? It's lighter than the first two that I tried, Lesson Learned and Me V The World. Let's see how it appears lighter. And look, the brush works on this one. All right, so what color is it? Maybe a little bit, maybe like a light chocolate, I would say. They are some reds in there too. Okay. Ah, so far so good. It's very similar in color to Lesson Learned. I really don't see that much of a difference. Maybe it's just me. To me, they're not that far apart. So if you're looking to get them, you can do one or the other. You definitely don't need all five of them because this is very similar to the first one, to me at least. Fourth shade here that I have is called the Space Maker. It's a pretty interesting name. All right, this one looks a lot more nude. Maybe like a pinky nude. Nope, it's more of a peachy nude. All right, so this is Space Maker. So yeah, I would say this is more peachy than pink. Oh. Too cool maybe? Huh. Oh, 
Well, this one, not that it's a bad color, I just, it's not my favorite so far. But this is what it looks like. Um, it's honestly not a bad color. I just, I would just have to put in a little bit more work to make it work for me. So it just, I don't know if it seems light on camera, but in front of me, it does seem maybe a little bit too light, but still it's pretty. It is a pretty color. Lastly, but not leastly, we have a tension haul. Ooh, that is light. I don't feel as confident in this one just looking at it. <laughs> It's super light. Okay, let's get ready for the hand swatch. Ooh, this brush is stiff, just like that other one. You just somehow gotta like press it down and bend it to kind of sort of break in the brush because they are super stiff. Okay, now that the brush is broken in. I see a nude pink. You can probably barely see it on the screen there, but that's how I would describe it. Not confident in this one. Gotta tell you right now. But let's just go for it. Not crazy about this one. It's almost a little bit too sheer to actually, to even show up on my skin tone. It's kind of borderline ashy looking, I'm not gonna lie. So to give this some dimension, I would have to use a lip liner and I'm pretty sure I can achieve a better look with the lip liner because this is not doing much for me. It's like getting ready for casket town. Um, it's looking gray, it's looking ashy. It's just not flattering on its own, on my skin tone. So I'm gonna have to put a little bit more work in to get this going for me. Well, I'm wondering what's gonna happen. Let's just try and use a lip liner. This is ColourPop's Hoopty and outline my lips just for fun so we can see what actually happens. Yeah, that is what it needed. Just a little dimension, a little color. And then we will go and add a little bit more in the center. Voila, so that changed it. And like I said, sometimes all you need is a good lip liner and it can transform the color. But I want to know what you guys thought of this collection. Were you 
underwhelmed? Were you bored? Were you excited? I am kind of in between. It's like I wasn't super excited about the whole whatever collection and I was just kind of like meh but I want to know what you guys' whole reaction is towards this fall collection from ColourPop. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have tried anything from the new ColourPop fall collection and put down in the comment section below how you feel about the whole collection if you got anything at all. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe and click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button because that's the only way you're going to know when I post a lip swatch video. And why would you want to miss out on that? Why? Why? I take my time to put these videos out. Why would you want to miss it? <laughs> don't forget to hit that notification bell or else I don't know what else to tell you. But that's all I got for today and I will catch you guys in my next lip swatch video. Bye!